Welcome to Outboard Motorbike. There's our engine screwed back together. But before we get on and assemble the motorbike around it, it's got a couple of little engine assembly and fabrication events to share with you. And then we'll get on and build a bike. Just in case you'd like to see me drop a piston in, here we go. And that bore's been honed to remove the transferred aluminium from the scored piston and get rid of um, the worst of the grooves, otherwise it'll blow smoke, like a two-stroke, which would be no good. That's our fabulous Peter Mercury tool, which makes this job ever so easy. Piston has to be the right way up, that way's up, as in that way's up on the outboard, so that the, uh, the cutaways in the skirt line up with the, the uh, transfer ports in the barrel. That goes in there. And make sure you've got the pegs for the rings in the right place. And it just goes in like that. So easy. Pull it up. It sits there and... Unbelievable. Now with all the pistons in, and all the rod bolts torqued up, the way these torque up is 30 inch pounds and then 90 degrees. And the reason they do that, the reason they specify that way is because the friction interferes with the torque setting as the torque gets higher. So you get a much more reliable reading at 30 inch pounds and add the 20 degrees of, sorry, 90 degrees of uh, extra stretch to get it to the right spec. So they're all in. Um, these funny looking things are the sealing rings that um, seal between each one of the chambers because the crankcase is alternatively pressurised they get clamped down by the crankcase. So a bit of aircraft gasket sealant on this face, no gasket itself. And uh, bottom of the crankcase is ready to go on and get torqued down, bolted down itself. What you can see sitting on the floor there is all the unnecessary or unwanted lugs that I cut off the back half of the frame, which is now sitting there, next to the front half of the frame, ready to go off and be um, sandblasted to get all that rust and crappy paint over. Little things we've added here, are, that's the front radiator mount, and that's just a lump of steel, which is effectively a, like a crash bar, I suppose, if the thing ever tips over. It stops the radiator from being uh, being the first thing that hits the ground. Hopefully not required, but it's there anyway. Bit of insurance. Here's our frame, fresh back from being sandblasted, or grit blasted, I suppose I should say. You guys have done a lovely job of it, nice and gentle, so it's not too coarse. Front half, back half, sitting there. And uh, we're about to paint it with this wonder product what will kill rust epoxy enamel which goes on really nicely and the colour is pewter also known as Brabham chassis grey and there it is nice and shiny in Brabham chassis grey just a little aside here from the fabrication department that's the radiator in place on the front of the frame you need to put the bottom bottom mounts on, so there they are belted in place. And um, rather than try to mark out where they fit and hold them in place and weld them, which would be a bit of a nightmare. Um, and you can't really weld them in place because it'll melt all the mounts and burn the paint. I'll just put them where they go and shove a little eighth rivet in there to hold them in place while we weld them. Just a little, little tip for younger players. <laughs> 